Hi there, welcome back to yet another video. In the last video, we have built our ERC20 token. We have built our beautiful interface. From there, we can easily able to transfer the token to any wallet address. In this video, we're going to build the sell contract ICO of the token so anybody can come and buy the token. So this is going to be the extended video of the project which we have built previously. So I will link that complete project right in the i button on the description so you guys can watch that and then continue with this. Or if you want to watch the ICO part only then you can continue from here as well. Because in this we are going to focus only on the smart contract and how we can retrieve data from our smart contract and do the transfer of the token. Okay. So here we are in the Visual Code Studio and I'm going to start from the, the project we left in the last video, okay? So we have built our ERC20 token, we have built our front applications and all the files and file folder structure you can find. So I'm not going to create an extra folder because we have already built that and we're going to continue from here. So simply do one thing, simply click on this contract and here we have this and these are the straight fund token and these are the straight variables we have, these are the events we have. These are the mappings we have. This is our struct. This is our constructor. This is our increment function, transfer function, approval function, and transfer from and getting data. And this is the token holder. So all these contract we have written in the last video. So I must recommend you to watch because we have built this beautiful interface and then you can continue or you can continue from here as well. Okay, so just come up here. So let's close this one, create one more file for our ICO sell token okay that we're going to do in the same contract click on this and let's call it fun token sell dot soul so in this we're going to write our ICO code so first we have to provide the license identifier license identifier MIT then we have to take the solidity version so the version is going to be 0.4.22 and it should be less than 0 0.9 point then we have to take the contract and let's call our contract fund token and in that we're going to take that address admin we'll take our fund token it's gonna be a public and we'll call it to contract so we're going to import the our ERC20 token and when we deploy our contract in our constructor we're going to pass in the ERC20 token address okay so that's what we're going to do and let's come down we'll take another variable unt and going to be a public and this will call token price and we'll take another variable this will be also public and we'll call it token sold so we have to keep the track that how many tokens are getting sold what's the price so that's why we are taking this state variable now let's take a event sell event and in that we have to pass three parameter address and this will call buyer address and the unt that how many token he or she has purchased and that's the two event we have to initialize okay now what we have to do is so let's come here and we have to import our erc20 token so which is inside the same directory so this one is let's provide the extension and this is our import and right now we don't have any error so let's come down now let's take a constructor and inside that we're going to call our fund token and we're going to take the contract address and we have to also set the price of our token okay so let's call it token price and we're going to update this price when we'll deploy the smart contract okay these are the two parameters we have to pass when we'll deploy the smart contract the first one is going to be the token contract address it's going to be the ERC20 token and the second thing is going to be the price of our token and this will and here we have to update the admin address to the ms dot sender so whoever will deploy the contract is, is going to be the admin now we have to update the contract and now we have to update the price which is coming from constructor okay this is our construction let's come down take another function and this will call multiply okay so these are the math proposition we're going to follow so unt i believe that you guys are very familiar with this so i'll go a little faster so x unt is going to be y and it's going to be internal it's going to be a pure return and we have to return the uint and we have to return and in this condition we have to check uh, let's say y equal to zero or 
let's say z plus z sorry z equal x multiplied by y divided by y equal to x so this is the condition we are following just we are doing some math calculation and checking the data okay we are looking for these two condition now let's come down here we have to write the by token function and in this we're going to take a unt variable and let's call it number of token public and it's going to be a payable so first we'll check few condition ms dot sender value should be equal to multiplier function we have to call and in that we have to pass thus number of token okay and we have to pass the y as well and the y is going to be the token price okay so these are the two parameter we are passing inside our multiplier and the entire calculation will happen okay this is our first requirement now second required is take the token contract okay and balance off and we're going to take the address address this contract address and we have to check that whether it's getter or equal to number of the token which the user want to purchase now we have to take another requirement and this will again token contract we have to transfer the token and in that we have to pass the let's call it transfer and we have to pass the message dot sender it should be and the other one is going to be number of token so these are the two things we're going to pass inside the transfer function and this transfer function is coming from our contract okay so these are the three check we are doing and finally we're going to update that so token sold is going to be let's say call the number of token okay and now emit this event so we have this event in this we're going to pass the message dot sender and we're going to pass let's call this number of token okay these are the two things we have to pass here so why it's error i think we have this extra s now it's looking good so this is our buy function okay so this this is the state variable this is the event constructor and these are the function we have now let's come down and now we have to write one more function to destroy this contract so as a owner of the contract at a certain point of time we don't want the anyone to buy the token so we need to have a function which can destroy this contract so no one can buy it so let's write that function so let's call it function and let's call it end sale and it's going to be a public and in this we're going to check for a condition message dot sender is going to be the admin okay he is the one who can only destroy this contract now let's come down we have to check for the another condition token contract dot transfer okay so all the token we have to transfer to the admin before we end this before we destroy this contract okay so let's call this admin and here we're going to pass the token contract dot we have to call the balance of and in this we're going to pass the contract address okay so we are transfer and these are the two check we are doing now let's uh, come down and now we have to call this payable admin dot transfer and we have to send the all the token to the contract address and say balance and that's it okay let's give this comma so that's working fine so with this we are done with the sell token contract you can see it's not that big you can see we are importing that state variable we have this event contract we have this multiplier functions buy token and the end sale so these are the function you need to make your call make your token ERC20 token so anybody can buy it okay so let's I think I've made a spelling copy and simply replace this one okay spelling mistake was there so now everything's looking good let's come here and we are done with this this token function so let's close this one now let's come to the script and click on deploy and here we have to do some settings before we deploy this our smart contract okay so first thing we have to do is uh, let's come here and we have to simply replicate this and we have to call it fun token sale okay and copy and replace this one and simply come here we have to take the price of our token so we'll call it token price and 1 and 15 zero so when you convert this into ether it becomes 
zero zero one ether, which we which I will show you how you can convert it. Okay, so this is because the entire transactions when it's happen in the EVM, that entire transaction happen in terms of way on the blockchain. Okay, so that's why we have to add these number zero, so fifteen zero. <coughs> so we have our token price. Now let's come down. We'll take another variable and let's say call this token fun token sale await and we have to call our token and now we have to deploy this and in this we have to give the address our erc20 token address and we have to give the token price so here you can see in the constructor we are passing the address of the erc20 token and we are passing the price okay so that's the two things we are passing here so here we have the instant and now we can use this await we have to call fun token sales dot deploy so once everything is deployed now we have to take the address of our fun token sale okay fun token sale contract and simply replicate this and let's call it yes and let's call it sale and this way we can easily able to access the address of the sell token contract and fun token contract i must recommend you to watch the previous video the complete project in which we have built erc20 token that then it becomes more sense because where i will going little very deep because in that we because in that we have went very deep and we have also built this front end application and make this communication okay so here we have the address and here we have to deploy so let's come here and let's delete this artifact so okay so let's delete this artifact because when we build this erc20 token on that time we have connected with this our front end application and we deploy our smart contract so this artifact got generated at that point of time but we want to redeploy this contract so for that we have to delete this okay so let's delete this artifact okay delete it and we have to delete this cache as well delete this one as well and let's go to the context and here in the context we have the abi of our erc20 token so let's delete this as well let's click on remove to cycle and now we have to redeploy our smart contract so everything's looking fine we have this instant we have the addresses let's open the terminal and let's stop the terminal from running so let's type npm hard hat node so this will initialize hard hat in our terminal and so make sure you initialize hard hat so and let's come here and now we have to deploy the our smart contract so the smart contract we have inside the script folder so make sure you write the same script okay npx hard at run script slash deploy dot this okay and hit enter so this is the script you have to type and just wait compile successfully and here you can see we have the address of both the contract fun token and fun token sale okay and now simply copy this address and come back to const and now we need that fun token sale contract address to make the connection with our foreign application which we have already done in the first part when we build this ERC20 token and connect with our front end application. Okay, so let's do it very quickly. So, first thing we have to do is let me give this command sell and let's paste the contract. Let's come here, go to the artifact, and now we have to drag this, drag and drop here in the const. Do the same thing for the token. So, here we have the ABI of our smart contract, and now we have to import that. We already have the ABI of our ERC20 token. And that's what we have imported in the last video. Now, the only thing we have to import this fun token sale. Okay, so let's do it fun token sale. And that's coming from the same directory dot and fun token sale. Let's come here and let's import that. So export, sorry, fun token sell address. And in this, we're going to paste the address copy and simply pass the address here. So we have the address. Now we have to take the ABI. So fun token sell ABI and that's coming from our fun token soldered ABI. So just simply click on this and here we have the ABI of our sell contract. Okay. So we have the access of this ABI. So let me give this command sell instant. Okay. So this is our const now. So we have deployed the smart contract. Now let's close this one, close this one and let's bring this up let's come here close this phone as well and let's go to this here we are in fun token JS, and here we are doing all the smart contract work we are communicating and getting data from our smart contract and building all the logics so we have already done for the erc20 token so 
let's come up here and here we need to import the contract okay we need to fetch the sell token contract so let me zoom this and let me give this comment so this is erc20 token contract okay simply replicate this and bring this down and this is called let's call it a fun token sell contract let's let's change this as well so let's call it uh, token token sell and here we have to import the avi and the address so let's import that and import the avi save it and now simply replace the replace this one and copy and paste here so here we have the uh, here we have successfully fetched the contract let's come up here and here we have the functions all the function we have written for our erc20 token so let's close all this and here we're going to write the all the logic for our sell token okay so contract interaction or function so here we're going to build all the logic so let's bring this down and simply clear the terminal and start the application so just wait you can see the application working absolutely fine we don't have the information so let's log into our metamask type your credentials click on log and simply reload the browser and you can see here we have the number of token in this contract because this is the address is the owner of the contract and all the token is available on this address and everything is working fine let's come here and let's click on this asset and as you can see we have 1 million token 1 million token so everything's working fine let's come here and go to this and refresh so that's that's the only thing i wanted to cover in this video about the token sell contract i'm not going to build that front end application in this video i want you to try because the same thing you guys have to do which we have done in the first video where i show you that how you can build this front end application how you can write the logic for communicating with a smart contract so must watch that once you watch that you can easily able to build the sell token contract or so i want you to give a try and build that front application from where anybody can buy the token and you have to also transfer the token to that contract which i have already explained you in detail in the very first video so make sure you watch that and build it so if i find that you guys are really interested in this project and so if i get 100 likes then definitely i'm going to build the next part of this video where we're going to build the all the logic for our sell contract and we're going to review all of your code as well that what approach you guys have also taken if you share your code with me and i'll try to cover and cover that and we're going to build that front end application so we can deploy the smart contract so anybody can buy it okay so that's what i'm keeping from the next video the only work i would like to give you right this moment just try it watch the video if you haven't watched and if you have already watched try uh, try by yourself because the same thing you have to do you have seen that how we are making the connection how we are using web3 model and interjs to communicate with our smart contract fetching the functions and then setting in the state variable and transferring to our context api so make sure you understand the previous things and then work on this so that's the only thing i wanted to cover hope you have enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel hit and like subscribe that will motivate me a lot to come up with this project and try to make the next part of this video where we're going to build the front end applications and communicate with our smart contract and i'm going to review all the codes a few guys have written okay so make sure you do those all things and if i get 100 likes then definitely a next part of this tutorial is coming soon the only thing i wanted to cover in this video hope you guys have enjoyed this project if you have any questions any doubt do leave in the comment section i would love to help you in that have a wonderful day